back to another edition of Father and Son Getting It Done. Today, we're working on winterizing your sprinkling system. Now, a lot of people will pay to have this service done, but it's not necessarily a hard job. And if you don't have the right hookups to blow out the lines, I'll show you a quick trick on how to do it that you don't have to worry about blowing out the lines. So basically, the bottom line is, is you gotta turn off your water. So the main shutoff, probably coming from the street, you'll have a turn off, It'll go to some either a stop and waste or somehow you'll have your water coming to your sprinkler lines. That main line needs to be shut off and then you need to clear out the lines by just simply opening each of your valves. Now if you have a, an automatic sprinkler uh, or an automatic sprinkler system, uh, I'll show you the best way that I do it at my house. My house is a little bit older. It was built a long time ago. So it doesn't have any of the fancy hookups for the blowouts or it doesn't have any of the drains. So what I do is I will go to the lowest point in each of my zones and I'll simply just remove the sprinkler head. The lowest point is where the water's draining down to. I open up the sprinkler heads and actually remove them. And I'll show you how I do that with each of the sprinkler heads. I mark them, uh, put them in a box. So in the spring, I'll know how to put them all back together. But by doing that at the lowest end of each of your zones, it will give the water a place to run out as well as if there is any water left in the lines, it's also an open hole. So if it does start to freeze, the, the ice has a place to actually expand instead of breaking your lines. So the first thing that we're gonna do uh, is I'm bringing it to the very lowest point of this one station. I'll bring the, the camera over here this sprinkler head that's right there, it's on a little riser, but this happens to be at the end of a line along my fence. So I'm simply just gonna remove this head. And when I remove this head, you can do it a couple different ways. You can either just pop off the top, which is all I'm gonna do. Sometimes um, there's a rubber gasket. You just pull it off, see how there's water in there? So that's where the, the, the water is gonna stay. Now, after we're done removing these heads, I'm gonna put a little note on it showing which sprinkler head it is, and I'll put it in a box. But what I'm gonna do is uh, then open up all of the lines uh, on each valve. And uh, so I just go through the zones, and even though there's not any water pressure going to it, I'm just gonna open up the valve, allow the pressure to relieve, and uh, just leave everything open and that's basically all that I do. Now, what if you have a bigger sprinkler that is not like one of these little small ones? Um, I'll show you that as well. Over on the other side of my yard, I've got some of these bigger sprinkler heads that look like this. The concept's, oops, the concept's still the same. I'm going to remove either the top of the sprinkler head. In this case, if the whole thing comes up, sometimes it's easier just to remove the entire sprinkler and just leave it open because that'll do the same thing. That relieves the pressure down in this pipe right there. So that is basically all I'm gonna do. And then, like I said, I will take each of the, the valves. So on my sprinkler timer, you could even just run a, run a cycle and then just shut the, the timer off so it doesn't keep going on and off all winter long. But that's the basic idea of clearing out your sprinkler lines. It's not that tough of a job, uh, but it takes a little bit of time. But just make sure that you're labeling each of your sprinkler heads so that you know where to put them back in the spring. And that's, uh, that's my quick fix on how to winterize your sprinkling system without going through a whole lot of effort, having to pay a ton of money, and it should turn out pretty good for you. So thanks for watching and tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time.